Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cloud Adventures. I'm John, Account Manager at Amazon Web Services. And in today's episode, we are going to talk about generative AI with Dennis Shiraev, co-founder and CEO of Neurolog. Dennis, thank you so much for joining us today. Hello, John, and thank you for having me. Dennis, could you tell us more about Neurolog? The Neurolog mission is to make complex AI tools accessible for everyone in a responsible manner. By responsible, I mean the set of values that our company represents, like we are never training our models based on the customer data, we are treating uploaded data really carefully and securely, and um, we also trying to forecast and envision any potential harm that uh, the new technology could cause, and we are trying to align this technology, we are trying to filter out the results, and in general, Neural Love is a set of generative AI tools available for the broad audience and uh, like text-to-image, the most popular one, uh, or the image, audio, and video enhance made with our own AI models. You co-founded Neural Love in 2020. Neural Love is a relatively new startup. What kind of challenges have you encountered so far and how AWS helped overcoming them? Oh, all challenges. So, uh, but especially I would like to underline a few, the most important one, I believe, like uh, the GPU server costs. It's a really important one. And the infrastructure management is the second one challenge. Uh, our initial idea was that we can move on with uh, this startup idea with our own procure infrastructure, with our own dedicated GPU servers. But then uh, we have calculated the total cost of ownership and decided to move on with uh, AWS Cloud and being cloud native. Because when you're building a startup, uh, AI startup especially, you continuously need to evaluate your monetization model. So yeah, we decided to stay, stick to the cloud native approach. Okay, great. You just mentioned being cloud native. That's a very important keyword. What are the reasons that led Neuralove to be cloud native on AWS? Uh, in short, cost, reliability, security, and scalability. So the long version of the answer will be that we are lucky that our CTO, Ilya, has pointed out all the importance of being cloud native. Because back then we had this fun idea to procure our own infrastructure, our own uh, GPU servers, and uh, we decided to calculate the cost of the procure infrastructure versus being cloud native. And uh, what we found back then, that it will cost only one tenth to move on uh, with the cloud native solution than to try to build our own infrastructure. So it was really simple win for AWS. Uh, Neuralaf soon will have 2 million registered users, 40 million generated images, and all those achieve achievements would not be possible without uh, being cloud native. Can you give us an example of business critical activities where AWS had a key role? Yeah, sure. So one of the tasks that Neural Love solves called uh, the upscale of the video in the cloud when we're converting the video of almost any dimension to the 4K dimension. And this is a really heavy computational task because before any optimization, this task could easily take a few days in processing because every different video could have a different length, etc. So Back then, our uh, CTO built this beautiful system which uses a server only when it's need to. So when the client have registered at Neural Lab and uploaded a video, then the smart software automatically uh, procures the server and uh, do the processing. Then the, when the processing is done, server automatically uploads the result and shut down. This not only helped us to save money, because when you don't have any clients, you're just burning money for the running server. But it also helped us to build this smart queue when we can simultaneously process multiple orders of our clients. Thank you, Dennis. And nowadays, 
we read about generative AI all over the internet. Every week we see new AI powered services coming up. How do you plan to innovate and keep up in this fast paced environment? Uh, this is a good question because the pace is really crazy in AI development. And uh, we have our own dedicated R&D department and they're watching closely all new, not all, like, but new and remarkable AI publications. Uh, we're also trying to be really careful in forecasting and uh, envisioning the future of the AI product. So we are trying to use data-driven approach and not, do not just jumping on the hype train, you know. And um, those new, AI solutions are creating new market opportunities, new products fits. So we are trying to fill that those gaps. And the important thing I, to mention is that not all AI tools we're trying to create indoor ourselves. Sometimes we're just leveraging the API that's already available. Wow, that sounds amazing. Dennis, I have been supporting Neralov for one year and a half now, and I'm very happy to see how you guys are progressing. And I'm even more excited to see where you guys are going. Thanks everyone for watching. And if you want to learn more, we have a technical episode with Ettore and Ilya.